What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PUBG Mobile Pro League South Asia Season 4 Pro Analysis. This is Super Johnny, joined by Fixus right next to me. And we're going to be breaking down what we expect to go down in this season of PMPL South Asia Season 4. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a new season, we've got a set of fresh players coming in. All the old gods are all ready over here. Yeah. I'm getting excited for it to start. Exactly. And the excitement does not end there because there's $150,000 on the line. But some things are going to remain the same, like we're going to have the League Play Days and the Super Weekend. But along with that, in this video, we're going to be talking about what we expect to happen, as I said. So the top three teams, the dark horses of this tournament, the rivalries that we're going to see, and of course, the top players that we expect from this tournament. So with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this show started. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to be starting things off with the top three teams of this tournament, or at least what we feel the top three are going to be like. And those three teams are Zeus Esports, DRS, and Star Wars Esports. So let's start off with the awkward conversation as to why we have DRS in the top three this time. Well, why not? Yes. Uh, because they have been so consistent, they've got the best players in the region, they've uh, stuck on uh, with each uh, other for quite some time. And I really feel that is their best strength, right? Uh, when we used to anticipate that Galzin will be the dif difference maker, it was not the case. I mean, it was of course AJ and Mr. Yeah. Bohr also chiming in. And if we talk about, you know, their possible weaknesses, Johnny, has to come down to the fact that, uh, well, this team does need to understand they need to take some early game fights. Exactly. But if we talk about consistency that DRS have displayed, there's another team in the list that have been as or if not more consistent than them, and that is Zeus Esports. Well, the gods themselves, right? And they do have Godless uh, with them, and of course with a little bit of Icy and Ibli. They've all been so good. In terms of their fragging potential, yes, I have been loving them. But again, that is one of those things that sort of sets them uh, back a little bit, because sometimes they get overwhelmed and tend to engage in a lot of fights, uh, sort of getting early eliminated. And we know what it takes to overwhelm Zeus Esports. It takes a team like Astra Academy, which is now Star Wars Esports. Well, I mean, uh, a lot of changes uh, we've yeah. seen uh, in, the, of course, uh, the banner, but the players are pretty much are similar. You've been talking about these lads, they're amazing, right? You've got Action, you've got Pika, and we do still remember the glimpses of that Wrangle match where they went massive. But again, if you talk about their shortcomings, I really feel they could do better in terms of uh, the rotations, uh, the macro rotations, yeah. uh, perhaps, if they sort of have it, then they're good to go. Exactly, and we're going to find out what's going to happen with these lads once they step into PMPL South Asia Season 4 this time. But after this, we have to talk about the individual players, so we're going to have a look at the top three players of the tournament next. Now, the top three players. We've mentioned a few of them before in this video as well, so we're going to be starting things off with Godless from Team Zeus, followed by his own teammate, Icy, and then we have Sandesh from T2K on the third position. Yeah, I would love to start off with Sandesh first because I really believe he's a complete package, right? If you need a sniper, he's there. If you need an assaulter, he certainly is. Then I'm going to move on to Godless. Uh, and again, uh, he also does deliver in both the fronts, right? We have seen him getting really up close and personal. And even from the back line, sometimes he gets really nasty with those bolt action shots. But if you talk about consistency, I think this is where I see really comes in and he certainly had been one of those picks that we never really thought yeah. would be there but has been such a tremendous performer for Zeus Esports. Exactly and these three players will be really key in helping their teams get to the top of that leaderboard because again there's a lot on the line for everyone. Now let's talk about what we love the most as Fixus likes to call it the masala, the rivalries of this tournament and starting things off DRS versus Zeus Esports. Well, uh, that has been going on for, uh, since the last two seasons and this yeah. season, of course, we are going to expect nothing less than that. And these two teams uh, have different uh, style of gameplay, but again, in terms of the standings, they somehow meet against each other and it does turn really nasty. It's, it's always going to be the, either the first or the second where we find these two. But moving on to the second rivalry award, I feel like the second rivalry is going to be like, it's going to be Pablo going up against IAD Esports from their own region. 
Well, it's it's a pretty much a homegrown rivalry that we have seen, right? Which really started off during the NC, where Pablo did manage to snatch it away from I8, and now I8 did respond uh, with that PMCO victory. So now, with uh, the title on the line, they've also got to prove that they are the best in the region. Exactly, they might be friends at home, but once you get inside the game, it's all about the business. So there's one more thing that we have to talk about right now and that is going to be the dark horses of the tournament. The teams that if they actually pop off can actually be a tough competition for everyone else to beat. And those teams are going to be Wizards with Vibes and Paradox all the way from Wildcard region. Yeah, uh, I mean of course 100%. Uh, because we haven't seen uh, a lot out of them. The big question over here is how are they going to play under pressure? Now, we've been talking about these two teams. I also would love to talk about Team Raw, right? Uh, oh, in yeah. the Nepal region, they have been phenomenal. And this has always been, been with the Nepalis that every single time they come into the major tournaments, they tend to get really, really sturdy and they do perform. Exactly. I and mean, that has been the history with the team. But will this time be any different? Only time will tell. And as I said, how the teams are going to perform, only time will tell. Well, the time is right now because the PUBG Mobile Pro League South Asia Season 4, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be starting on the 21st of September. So do make sure you are tuned in for all the action on PUBG Mobile official YouTube channels. And well, we're going to be waiting to see you guys right on the battlefield.